Hi, I'm Wayne Allen Root for Personal Liberty. Don't look now, but Donald Trump is in the GOP presidential race, just as I predicted. And he's no joke. In the latest poll, he's in second place in New Hampshire. So there's no avoiding the 10-ton gorilla in the room. Let's discuss Donald. I know, I know, Trump is flawed, the critics say. He's a clown. He's a buffoon. He's divorced twice. He has business bankruptcies. All true. And Ronald Reagan was a failed B-movie actor who played second fiddle to a chimp. Heck, Reagan had a failed Vegas lounge act that closed in a week. Reagan was rejected by United Artists executives to play the part of a president. Two years later, he was governor of California, and then he went on in the next decade to become the man poll show where he's regarded as the greatest modern president. Could Donald Trump be Reagan part two? Yes, Donald Trump is flawed. But ironically, he may be the perfect candidate at the perfect time. Why? Because he says whatever is on his mind. He has no filters. He doesn't care about political correctness. He doesn't answer to anyone, not donors, not handlers, not consultants, not pollsters, and God bless him, not the national media. Donald Trump is his own man. Trump says whatever he wants because he's worth $9 billion. The Donald doesn't need any donations. He doesn't need the support of fat cat donors or multinational corporations like the other GOP candidates. He doesn't need scandalous donations, a.k.a. bribes from foreign governments like Hillary Clinton. Hillary's greedy. We know she thinks of herself as broke. Her husband, Bill, says he's still worried about paying the bills. Desperate people do desperate things. So they need foreign governments to give them donations. But Donald Trump has $9 billion. He never has to do desperate things. He has 9 billion reasons to say whatever he wants and let the chips fall where they may. Donald Trump is free to become Bullworth. Remember that 1998 movie starring Warren Beatty as U.S. Senator Bullworth? He didn't give a damn what people thought anymore, so he said whatever he wanted. He told the truth and let the chips fall where they may. Bullworth stood at the pulpit of a black church and told black voters that the Democratic Party and their politicians claim to want to help you, make all kinds of promises to help you, but they're all lying. And then after the election, they're nowhere to be found. They never keep those promises. Why? Because you don't donate enough money. What's the proof, Bullworth asked? Half your kids are unemployed and the other half are in prison. Well, the truth is the truth. And it hasn't changed since that movie in 1998. Bullworth dared to tell the truth and the people loved it. Not only was Bullworth reelected in the movie, he became an instant media sensation and the shocking favorite of voters for president. Honesty is that refreshing. Can real life imitate art? We're about to find out. Donald Trump is the real life Bullworth. When voters listen to the raw truth of Trump next to the mainstream establishment candidates who tell lie after lie to get elected, Donald will shine by comparison. Suddenly it will all become clear. The lies and the BS aren't working. The other candidates are scamming you, bribing you, placating you. It's time for someone willing to tell it like it is. It's time for a real life Bullworth. Maybe, just maybe, Trump will admit out loud the damage Obama's done to our economy with his socialist policies. It's time for a politician to ask what socialism ever did for Greece or Spain or Italy or France or miserable Cuba or Venezuela with food and toilet paper shortages. And what has over 50 straight years of Democratic leadership done for bankrupt, crime-ridden hellholes like Detroit, Chicago, or Baltimore? I'm betting Trump's the guy to tell the truth. Maybe he'll be the guy that admits there's no recovery. It's all a lie, <clears throat> a mirage. The numbers are gamed. It's all created with fake money printed by the Fed, artificially low interest rates, and half the country being propped up by welfare and government checks. We already know that the Donald will dare to tell the raw truth about the open borders and the illegal immigration and what it's doing to our country. He did it in his presidential announcement speech last week. He said what no other Republican has the chutzpah to say. The border's wide open and illegals flowing across will destroy middle class jobs and drown our nation under a tsunami of welfare, food stamps, free health care and the cost of cops, courts and prisons. He actually said that many of these illegals are not nice people. They're criminals being dumped on us by their own governments on purpose. We're so dumb we accept them. Trump finally admitted the worst kept secret in American politics, illegal immigration is bad for the economy, bad for the country and bad for your family. Maybe he'll also admit that our open border will soon lead to a terrible terrorist attack. Maybe he'll ask out loud, what kind of president would purposely leave the border open? Maybe he'll admit the taxes are not 
historically low as Obama claims. The taxes are in fact too damn high. High taxes are killing entrepreneurship and jobs. If billion dollar corporations are so damaged by the 35% corporate tax rate that they're all forced to escape America with inversions, then why isn't any politician admitting the 43.8% top individual tax rate is damaging taxpayers and killing even more jobs? Maybe the average taxpayer needs an inversion. I'm betting Trump is the only guy willing to say it. Maybe he'll admit public schools are failing and dumbing down our children. Your kids are not learning. They're not prepared to compete in the global marketplace. And the problem isn't money. We already spent too much on education. The problem is teachers unions and bad teachers who can't be fired no matter what they do. Maybe Trump's the guy to admit we have too many government employees and they're all paid way too much and their obscene pensions are bankrupting cities, counties, states, and our entire federal government. Those pensions can never be paid in full. Someone needs to admit that. I'm betting Trump is the one guy brave enough to do it. Maybe he'll admit there are no quality jobs because of thousands of pages of new regulations and Obamacare's 2.1 million words of regulations and insane EPA mandates and thousands of more climate change regulations coming down the pike. Oh yeah, we're all gonna breathe cleaner air and none of us will have a job, we'll be starving. Trump's already bravely pointed out black unemployment is twice as high as white unemployment, thereby proving Obama has been a terrible president for the same black Americans he claims to support. Maybe Trump will point out we have absolutely no plan to stop ISIS and they are winning as Obama lies and says they're not. They're winning. Maybe Trump will point out that Obama's policies are bad for Israel and Jewish voters and it's crazy that Jews would ever even think of supporting the Democratic Party. Maybe, just maybe, America's ready to hear the truth and Donald Trump is just the man to tell it like it is. Will Trump win the presidency? I don't know. The jury's still out, but he'll be a breath of fresh air. He'll wake you up. A real life Bullworth has arrived. Donald Trump will certainly make the 2016 race for president fun. And I can't wait. I'm Wayne Alaroot for Personal Liberty. See you next week. God bless America.